Hey, good morning, guys. Tush coming at you. It's about uh, 1 p.m. on Monday, May the 29th, Memorial Day in the USA. So, uh, hope everybody's having a good Memorial Day weekend uh, down in the U.S. for my U.S. viewers. Anyway, we're at T minus 111, and uh, just checking out the uh, painting results from last night. So, uh, that looks pretty good. I've just unmasked it, and uh, obviously, the water pump needs to go back here. So I think that looks good as a completed unit. I'm happy with that. Got to wait for a gasket to be able to put that back together. But uh, yeah, I think it looks good. So again, another part to go back in the parts trailer. And I think what we'll do is we'll finish what we've got on the table. We'll uh, start working on this uh, front sway bar that we've got here, a nasty looking sway bar. So we're going to get that stripped down and painted. I did uh, make a trip to the uh, paint store this morning and uh, picked up uh, some new paint or different paints so we'll uh, use some of that once we get this bar stripped down and ready for paint okay quick look of the uh, sway bar before we get into stripping it uh, as you can see pretty rusty pretty pitted so remove the uh, bushings which were poly bushings which is good actually they're not in bad shape so I actually may be able to reuse those if need be anyway you get an idea of the condition of the uh, the sway bar so we're going to strip that up and uh, like I said, we're going to repaint it. So I'll just I'll give you a before shot and uh, it'd be nice if I actually had it in the viewfinder. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, strip it up and get it painted. Alright guys, we've got that sway bar all stripped down and uh, cleaned up. It's definitely looking much better after uh, getting rid of that uh, 50 years of uh, grease and grime off of it. So we're going to throw some paint on it now and I'm going to do my traditional gold. I'm going to try to make it look like it's a little bit uh, cadmium, cadmium coated, so let's see how we can do that. We'll come back. Alright guys, just coming up to uh, 3 o'clock and the uh, sway bar is now complete. I'm happy with the results. It's uh, fake cadmium. <laughs> so we've got a gold base with some green and red uh, zinc tint in there. Don't know if that will come through with the camera at all, but you can actually see some red and green in there. And it does shimmer a little bit like uh, cadmium. So, anyway, here's what we used. We used the <clears throat> Krylon Color Master uh, Gold Metallic. And then we follow that, like I said, we use a little bit of uh, red zinc chromate. The, uh, sorry, the green zinc chromate. And then we clear coated it with uh, three coats of clear. So, it should be fairly durable. Anyway, we'll move this inside the house. We'll uh, hang it up in the, uh, the front closet just to get it out of the way and to let it continue drying, continue drying, and we'll uh, work on something else. All right, guys, the next two little projects. We just did a little uh, dive into our bin here, and this came to hand. So this is the uh, lower uh, radiator pipe, uh, radiator hose pipe, which is metal. So we'll, uh, we'll redo that, and then we'll do some work on the uh, wiper motor and get that re looking a little bit better. So, there's the before. And we'll give you some shots of the after a little later on. Hopefully, this will probably be my only other project for this afternoon. The uh, wiper motors tend to take a little bit of time. Uh, by the time you take it apart, clean it, and uh, clean up all the individual parts, and then paint them individually. Uh, it takes a fair amount of time to restore these wiper motors, but uh, anyway, we'll get to it. We're going to do this first, get that out of the way. We'll get that stripped, painted, and drying, and then we'll start working on the wiper motor. Alright, there's that pipe all cleaned up. A little pitted on the ends. As long as it's not leaking, it's still fairly solid. So uh, we'll uh, get this painted up. We've got it uh, scratched down with some 80 grit. We've got to wipe down with some uh, grease and wax remover. So we'll get it into color. I'll take you a little bit through uh, the dismantling on, and uh, cleaning and uh, disassembly and then reassembly of this uh, wiper motor while we've got it on the table. Who knows, it may help somebody. But uh, anyway, here we go. We're going to start by removing this uh, case from the top of here. I've already actually loosened the bolts because if you recall, in order to get this off the car, you need to release the uh, the cable and in order to do that you need to remove the cover first and lift the cable out of the mechanism inside here so we're going to 
remove this top cover first. And we're just going to cut this wire here. We're going to resolder it in, into back into here anyway. So we're just going to cut it just uh, short of the connector and uh, that way we'll be able to remove this cap. Alright guys, here's inside of the cap and we're going to remove this little locking pin. We're going to remove this little contact tab that contacts in the inside of the lid here. You can sort of see where that sweeps. So we're going to remove that and then we can lift this arm out here. So we'll do that now. now. In order to remove this gear and just to be able to clean it, there's usually a locking pin on the bottom of where the gear comes through the case. So what I'm going to have to do is take this mounting plate off the bottom so I can get to the bottom and there's a little locking tab under there. There normally is a little locking under tab under there so we'll have a look once we so get to the I've bottom So I've decided plate to leave the gear in and it's for the very reason that I've had trouble with these little clips. They're really hard to see. You can see them there. It's a spring clip. It just fits into a groove but I've had really bad luck with breaking these. Uh, a breaking them or B when they come off they go flying and you can never find them again so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to leave that little keeper in there and we're just going to uh, clean the grease off the top of this wheel probably with some brake cleaner and uh, we'll get to the case side of things it's in a little just a different minute. than the uh, TR3 motors that I've worked on because the TR3s the wires are not internal they actually have plug-ins on the outside of the uh, rear case so this is a little bit different and then you can see there's a ground wire on here as well anyway we're gonna take the bolts out so we can take the end cap off and uh, we'll see what we've got alright guys I put on my big boy pants and uh, we decided to remove that little circlip after all there you can see it there so we've got the gear out and it's a good thing it's good to clean up all that grease that's underneath of it and you can see quite a bit of grease underneath the gear in the case as well so it's always good to have that cleaned out the other good thing is now I can actually uh, probably soda blast this without worrying about getting any grit or anything in here. So uh, we're going to clean this up a little bit. Like I said, we'll probably get the soda blaster out. We'll do the same thing we did with the carbs yesterday just to clean this up and get it ready for paint. And the rest of it looks pretty good. There's the uh, brushes. They don't look to be in too bad a shape. i to be careful with those. My little fingers have a hard time getting those back in there if they pop out. So although it looks like I'm going to have to do some wiring. Um, so looks like I might be getting my soldering gun out to fix this uh, one wire here that's going to be too short and I see it soldered right in there so we'll probably have to uh, looks like that's got two connections soldered on there I'm not the world's best uh, solderer so uh, anyway we'll find out we'll figure a way out of it. Alright guys quick update we're making pretty good progress on the wiper motor parts we've got most of them uh, cleaned up and ready for paint uh, or cleaned in general uh, we still have uh, the mount to clean up which is going to go on the sandblaster and then we've got the actual body of the wiper motor that's actually going to be soda blasted so we've got that just uh, sitting out here ready to go we're going to sandblast the body first or sorry the body sandblast the base first so I've just charged the compressor up we've got the uh, sandblasting cabin all ready to go so we're going to chuck that in there and blast that all right, up. Alright guys the base of the uh, windshield wiper motor came up really well. I don't even think I'm going to paint this. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, so I'm happy with that. So we basically need to go through and just paint the rest of the parts so we're going to do that now. So if we do it now we'll be able to assemble this tomorrow because uh, I'll be able to handle it in the morning. So we'll get this into paint and let it sit overnight and uh, like I said, we should be able to assemble it tomorrow, so that's what we're going to do now. Alright guys, just coming up to uh, 8.30 and we've got the uh, parts all painted, so we're just going to let those dry overnight. So there's those parts there, here's the case. Looking good, hopefully I didn't get any runs on it. And the bracket. So, like I said, we'll let them dry overnight. Should be able to handle in the morning and we will reassemble. Alright guys, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hey, good morning guys. Tush coming at you. Tuesday, May 30th. Just coming up to uh, 8.30 in the morning. And uh, we are at T-110 today. And back on the wiper motor this morning. We're going to do the reassembly. So we've got all the painted parts here ready to go. I'm just starting to work on the uh, resoldering the uh, wires. I'm um, putting some new wires in the motor, so we're going to do that first before we get to reassembly. So we're going to carefully reassemble, make sure we don't get any uh, fingerprints or marks on it. So uh, we're going to do the soldering first and then we'll uh, get into reassembly. Well, true to form, 
I've just lost that little frickin' spring clip trying to put it back in. The one that holds the gear in. And it's somewhere in this garage on this floor somewhere or on this table or under that frame or under the compressor. I don't know. I'm pissed. I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees and take a look. I doubt I'll find it. It's like looking for a needle in the haystack. So we may have to come up with some other solution. So now we're trying to MacGyver something together. This is an old uh, clevis pin spring that we're trying to uh, fix up to work and I think it will probably work. We're going to trim it up and uh, see if it fits in the groove and see if it stays there. Uh, failing that we've got one of these type of washers that I've just got a slot in. That's my backup and then I've got another spring to try over here if that fails as well. So we'll figure something out. I'm just pissed that I lost that other part. Okay guys it looks like my little MacGyvering trick worked. That uh, spring seems to be holding that in there no problem so that's a good thing. So we'll move on. Alright guys, the uh, wiper and motor is now reassembled and I think it's looking pretty good. Still need to grease it on the inside but we'll do that when we put the motor back in and attach the cable. So yeah, big difference from before and after. That's what we're going for. Alright guys, we'll work on something else. Alright guys, we have the next group of parts we're going to be working on. We've just uh, dug them out of the bin below the table here. So we're just going to go methodically through them. There's the uh, bag for the uh, floor tracks. We've got the PDWA for the uh, braking system. We've got the uh, radiator supports. We've got the handbrake. We're going to try to polish up, polish up the um, headlight trim rings. Uh, the heater valve, we've got a new heater valve, but we need that uh, bottom pipe, so we're going to fix that up. Some more support uh, bars for the engine bay. Uh, we're going to work on this uh, thermostat uh, cap. The radiator uh, hold uh, bottle support. The alternator mounts. The hood hinges. The alternator. And I'm still missing one sway bar mount, but we're going to work on that too. So. I think what we'll do maybe is we'll start with the alternator, get that out of the way first. So we'll set that up on our little table over there and we'll uh, start taking it apart. I thought we'd do the easy stuff first. So we've got the uh, thermostat uh, housing ready to go to paint. So we're just going to stick it on a board outside in the sun, give it a quick coat of uh, paint and be done with it. We'll move on to something and else. And the ugly looking radiator support brackets will be next. So we'll get those cleaned up. They've got some red paint on them. You know, a bunch of grime, so I'm not sure where the red paint came from. Maybe these were borrowed from another car, who knows. Anyway, we'll get them cleaned up. Get them into Alright paint. guys, we're uh, making progress on the parts. We've got a few of them hanging up here ready to be painted. Stripped and ready to be painted. So uh, those are looking good. Um, we're going to work on this piece here. We're going to make this look 100% better. So this is the uh, pressure warning uh, switch for the brakes. So. Uh, We'll get that cleaned up and we'll show you that uh, afterwards. It's not going to be painted, but it's going to be polished. So we'll see what that looks like afterwards. Alright guys, that makes a big difference. All polished up and new lines. So another one to go back on the dining room table. Get ready to be installed on the car. So yeah, I wish all the parts were that easy to do. Alright guys, we'll move on to the next thing. Alright guys, we're just about to take the uh, parking brake apart to uh, paint it. So we've got the grip off already. That uh, had to be cut off. We've got a new one in the house. Um, so we're going to uh, take apart the uh, compensator piece, which is just a clevis pin and a cotter pin arrangement. We're going to remove that off the back. We'll probably take out the little ratcheting mechanism. The pawl can stay in there, I believe. So uh, that's it for now. We'll come back when we have it All apart. Alright guys, the uh, handbrake is uh, completely disassembled with the exception of this, uh, I call this a pawl, this little hook thing. So uh, that's actually uh, pressed in there. I think it's uh, just a small like little rivet that's sort of peened over. But uh, we're going to leave that in here. Um, it looks to be in pretty good shape. It's got a good, uh, now I can't get it to come back down. There it is. Looks like the teeth, or the tooth, is in pretty good shape. So uh, if I needed to replace it, I do have a spare. But I think that one's looking pretty good. So we're just going to leave it there. So 
We're going to strip this and paint it. Believe it or not, I'm not going to even do anything with this except clean it up, a little bit of brake cleaner, and we'll give it a little bit of uh, lube, and that's it for that piece. So really not much to do on the, uh, on the handbrake. We'll clean this piece up again, and uh, again, we'll just grease that and put it back together. All right, guys, we got the Christmas tree all uh, hung, and uh, we're just about to throw these uh, little parts into primer and then we'll get them into black. These are all going to be black, so uh, that's why I did that thermostat, thermostat uh, housing uh, neck uh, first, because I know that was going to be the only gray part. So anyway, we'll get to uh, getting these into primer, and like I said, the we'll, next step will be to be uh, in black. Coming up to 6.30, and uh, all the parts are now in black, with the exception of that thermostat housing. So we just got them hanging here, and we'll let them dry overnight. I think we're done for the evening. Uh, we're going to get ready for work tomorrow. So uh, I may come out and start working slowly on this alternator by taking it apart. I didn't get a start on it today, but that will probably be the next project that I work on. So who knows, I might come out for an hour or two tonight, watch the ball game and uh, play around with the alternator a little bit. But uh, we shall see anyway. We'll upload this and we'll get a fresh start when we do begin the alternator.